Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Two questions we're going to answer in the video today. Number one is, if you're going to go down the Japanese tech tree line, any Japanese tech tree line, should you go down the medium line or the heavy line? And we got two Type 5 heavies that say heavy line. Two of them, platoon. Bring me the APCR from the Onion Clan and his platoon mate, Black Dog. There they go. Look at them, guys. Look at them. Let's make the thumbnail for this video. Let's make the thumbnail. There they are. There they go. That's number one. Number two, uh, what are the top damaged games, top damage results for Japanese tanks? this patch so far. This is one of them, but more on that later. Spoiler! Most of the top damage results, almost all, are STB1. STB1 dominates. It's uh, just consistently better. But, there's a couple of Type 5 heavy games in there. Yeah. If you sorted worst games, <laughs> If you could sort by worst instead of top, I bet there would be a lot of Type 5 heavy games in that uh, worst game list. Because a lot of times, you're a slow lumbering turd and uh, you know, the battle's over. Like, sometimes the battle's over before it begins for you. But not this time. Somehow. And his teammate, Black Dog, you're late. You're late to the party. You arrived late to the party. So Black Dog does not get one. Can he go right through the front of the turret? Right there. Oh. I think he could have if he pulled the trigger. There you go. And Black Dog, you're, you're hesitating. Oh, Black Dog made it count too. And that just goes to show that uh, when you load 290... Oh, and he took one. It's just APCR and heat. Get used to it if you're going to play heavy tanks. It's an exchange of APCR and heat. That's all it is. It just, um, there really shouldn't even be heavy tanks in the game, I guess. Or, or maybe the game should be that uh, if you shoot someone, you always pet no matter what. Maybe that's more realistic. Now just, just give us ammo and when you shoot, you actually do damage. Because uh, when you, playing heavy tanks is just, uh, it's kind of just the, uh, they, they added this mechanic in the game so that, that people would shoot APC. So let's put a tank in there that, it has, well, what's the regular ammo here is 257 and the, uh, uh, the regular ammo is 257 and the uh, APCR is 290, so we'll, we'll give that tank 270 armor, 280. You can't pen it with the regular stuff, you gotta load the other stuff. Okay. Done! Our, our work is done. How many credits will this spend? Lots. I can program that. <laughs> okay, this tank has 200 uh, millimeters of armor in the front, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make some tanks. You'll have uh, 50 penetration on your regular round and 500 on your premium round. There you go, have fun! It's ridiculous, right? I don't even know why we have this premium and red. What a scam. So what does that mean? If, it, if the, the re, In realistic terms. Why would you take any of the regular stuff? If it was real war. You know, the, the country, I guess, with the most money. Or the factory that could make the good stuff. Why would you even make some of the bad stuff? Why would it exist? Wouldn't you just have the best ammo? No, let's... Here. Here you guys go. We're going to give you a lot of the stuff that doesn't do any damage. Here, off you go. Go to the western front. You should be fine. Don't worry about it. It'll cost us less. Does it make any sense? Anyway, that's besides the point. We're watching a Type 5 Heavy. <laughs> Play as a Heavy tank, And, you know, um... People, the heavy tank gameplay is uh, some people shtick, and medium tank gameplay is some people shtick, and um, 
it's fun to like he's blocking damage he's blocked 3500 so, so you know he's blocked some damage when you angle perfectly when the enemy shoot your tracks the trajectory of the cell the, the trajectory of the shell does not uh, enter your hull it only hits a track it's a critical hit if they happen to hit a, a magic screen on your tank right if they if they even if they load heat and the shell uh, hits one of the magical screens that Wargaming has put on all the you know, various tanks in the game so that every now and then their program can say screen hit you know, it's fun you say ha ha you've been trolled and then you pull out and you shoot them that's heavy tank gameplay but most of the unicoms are people that are worried about their stats or people that are serious about winning all the time uh, they play fast medium tanks with high dpm with a really high penetration premium run. so they can scoot around the battlefield and just farm these guys uh, when, a, when a really good player that's playing in a medium tank looks at the, uh, oh, you hit a track pixel. You tried to hit the lower plate, but you hit a track pixel. The track pixel is so powerful. There was a little bolt there where the track attaches. And you, your shell didn't do it. You hit the, there you go. So when you, uh, Unicoms that are playing the medium tanks, when they load the game, uh, like, the regular person loads the game and goes, oh, there's two mouses, there's two Type 5 heavies, oh, this is going to be hard. No, uh, if, if a guy that knows what he's doing, a Unicom loads it, he says, wow, two mouses, that's 6,000 damage I can get easily. And they load the heat. And they do it without even getting detected. Just, you know. It's not hard, the mouse can't move. Because he's the size of a Walmart store. And you pulled out sideways there, buddy. You, you deserve getting hit there. This guy is not using his... Um, that time he didn't use his armor effectively. But, you know, come on. Can't argue with 5,000 uh, damage done and 4,450 block. You can't argue with that. That's a, that's a pretty good result so far, right? He's got... There's more to come. More. You want more? Oh-ho. Oh, look, this guy's still side-scraping the same corner. <laughs> he's been bobbing back and forth the whole game on that corner, wondering what he's doing. Why did I grind the mouse, he's thinking. Oh, he almost had a shot on him, but he did not. He's pull You're pulling out sideways. See, the trouble with what he's doing is he doesn't know who's there, and if he pulls out sideways and there's someone else there, boom, you get shot in the side, buddy. It's not the... Well, you gotta turn your tank more vertizontally. You gotta side scrape. You gotta angle. You're just pulling out sideways. Okay. Let's see if this if anyone comes. Let's see. Let's wait. Stop fidgeting. Just you're pre-aimed. Stop fidge. Stop fidgeting. You're pre-aimed. There you go. Our black dog is a little late to the party again. <laughs> oh, black dog takes a shot. Well done, black dog. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost had a shot on the FB. Oh, oh, ho, ho, that was nice. That was nice. And the WZ missed. Oh, that WZ is probably pretty pissed off. So Black Dog and uh, and Bring Me the APCR are, are holding down this. They are doing their job. To put my hand up and say they are doing their job. They're holding the choke point. This is a choke point, and they're holding it. With all their HP and their firepower, they're just doing a fantastic job. Now watch out for the leopard, could shoot you in the side, buddy. If he has a shot through this gap, be careful. That leopard might be able to shoot you. I took another shot there while I did that. You gotta, you see, leopard spotted, you gotta watch that gap. What's he up to? 6,900 uh, damage. Almost 5,000 damage assist. Both of them are still alive and Oh, another beautiful shot. This guy, okay, now he's calmed down. He's kind of realized, ooh, I'm getting low on HP. I better be careful. Before, he was a little bit uh, reckless with his HP. Oh, the shot deviated, but he still did 683 damage. Oh, that was high. Oof, oof. Who was that? E50. APCR. It's in your name. Bring me the APCR. They're bringing it. <laughs> That's too bad. That's too bad. Uh, he, this guy lost about a thousand HP that he shouldn't have. 
he could have been sitting on about a thousand more HP. Let's see if it um, if it comes back to haunt him. Because he's done 8,000 damage and 5,000 blocked, approximately. He could sure use another 1,000 HP now, because now he's a one-shot. Everyone. He's a one-shot to everyone. Except maybe the Grillet. Grillet will take four shots. <laughs> Watch out for the Leopard. to shoot you in the ass. I wouldn't be po- see how these guys are poking? Where the look at the minimap where the leopard is. There's a lot of bushes and cover here. The leopard could spot you because you're a big uh, size of a Walmart shopping plaza. Uh, if the leopard spots you and loads APCR, you're you're dead. He's not going to bounce on you. He's going to hit, pretty much hit you anywhere, except some oblique angle. You're a big box. So. You gotta rely on your teammates. You gotta rely on your object 430 to spot the leopard. I, I, I wouldn't be poking. They will not see the leopard first. The leopard will see them first. The leopard has bushes and concealment. They have no bushes and no concealment. So he could be staring. They could be on that corner staring and uh, they won't see. They'll, they'll know the leopard's there when the shell arrives. I'm surprised that leopard didn't shoot his teammate. So interesting. And so we don't know where he went, but you gotta be careful. Okay, now is, is the dog there. Oh, oh, nice. He moved forward to absorb the shot with his... The shot was coming for his lower plate, but he moved forward and, and took the shot in his tracks. The mouse just went out sideways like a Muppet. And now, is the mouse gonna be a Muppet again? It, come on, pre-aim. Oh, yes, and he moves forward. Beautiful. But spotted, yeah, yeah. Is the leopard gonna shoot him? Because he backs into cover, good. Boy, these guys are... They're fighting hard, guys. He's almost 10,000 damage. I don't know how much block uh, Black Dog has, uh, but he's on three kills. So these two guys are... We haven't seen it from Black Dog's perspective. I'm making fun of Black Dog because, you know, I like to make fun of everyone. But I'm sure Black Dog is trying his, uh, his best as well. And these two guys have kept their team in this game and I have to call out the object 430U uh, you're, where is he over there? the object 430U you're a pussy uh, he sh he's probably got better armor than these guys and uh, there's a lot better places he can be than where he is he's a sniping object 430U what does he expect? the type 5 heavies to spot for him? I don't understand oh and black dog see? we know where the leopard is now or at least black dog does <laughs> The shell arrived before he could see him, guys, and the leopard's not even detected. And that object 430U has, and he's pinging the map, he's saying the leopard's over there somewhere. The object 430U is just a complete uh, waste of skin. Uh, he has uh, single-handedly helped this team lose. And if he doesn't do something, if he doesn't go uh, counter that leopard or at least relocate somewhere useful, boom, and ram him! Oh, he backed up! Oh! Why did he back up? The tendency is always to back up after you shoot. And if he fired and moved forward, he would have hit that E50 and killed him. And there's the leopard. The leopard is now detected. And I have to put up my hand and say, Object 430U. You're a pussy. So unfortunately for these guys, a defeat. They did almost 15,000 damage between the two of them. What are you gonna do? Well, I tell you what you gotta do. You gotta do what Jordan KO2 from the Prism Clan did. Let's go down the medium tank line with the STV-1. Because this thing is just better. It's better. Medium tanks are better than heavy tanks. You don't believe me? <laughs> Highest damage game played so far uh, in this patch by a Japanese tank. Of course, it's the uh, medium tank. But that, uh, that was a pretty exciting game that we watched. Those those two guys battled it. And that's some people love that kind of play style. That, uh, that's exciting, right? Playing the heavy tank like that, being right in the thick of things. And somehow he's... Okay, let's stop it there. He got spotted. Uh, he probably got spotted when he was cro right, right about there. There's someone inside this white circle. Pretty much, you know, plus or minus a little bit. Who could it be now? 
Who could it be? Now the bat chat? It wasn't the projecto. The projecto was not close enough. The projecto 46. The burask? We don't know. Oh, the E50? No, he was in the low ground. The burask is over there. Maybe the projecto? I don't think he came close enough to, to the projecto. Uh, it's... Well, it is different. You know what it is, guys? Um, the enemy spawned here. This is a defense mode, so they... they it might have been the Burask on the high ground. It's tough to say, but look now, he's a hold down beast. Just... Just great. Look at this. Look at the gun depression. Gun depression! Oh, and he's got this tank, and he's made this uh, Super Conqueror look uh, not so super. And he's, he's, oh, well, he took a, he took one hit there because you poked too far. Use your gun depression. Gun, de he's poked too far again. Iron Arnie bounced a shot. Like, that's as far as you have to go. You don't have to go any farther there. Oh, it hit the screen, not penetrated. Look at the DPM. Why would you want to play a heavy tank when you can play this? And he's going to move up. Okay, he's taking it. Because he's only got 10 minutes. It's only two minutes has gone by and he's done 1700 damage and now the IS-7 takes a shot. Now he, he's he's golden here. Now aim your shot at the cheeks. You keep hitting the gun. This, there's nothing they can do versus him now with this gun depression. Use your pneumatic gun depression and just make them feel foolish. There's nothing they can do. Look at this. They can scoot around like the slow heavies they are. Track them. They didn't track them. There's nothing they can do. Oh, this is just... What a textbook oh he got hit by the the mouse the mouse, the mouse. Oh. I guess this guy's just uh, rushing his shot so that he doesn't get hit back use your gun depression he's not using his full pneumatic gun depression oh there you go it's crazy and it's hard to do got to be moving slow to engage that pneumatic uh, extra gun depression he's got so there you go there you go there you go. oh yeah back up and he yeah beautiful that's oh, it's just beautiful he's got a teammate that's making it difficult for him and he shot through his teammate okay yeah uh oh let's just watch watch and enjoy this isn't gonna take long oh what kind of reload is this what kind of reload is this? This, this object is so... He's, he's fighting his teammates as well as the enemies. Okay, perfect location. Perfect location for an STB-1. Very difficult for the enemies to counter this. Yeah, kung fu, huh? How many kung fu, kung fu? Like, what are they gonna? Do? What are they supposed to do? You know what they're supposed to do? You know what would be the correct strategy for the enemies right now? Is to not contest this corner. They're completely outmatched by a hull down beast. Yet they, they, they stay in the line of fire. The correct strategy is just back up. Make him come around and leave his really good position. Now, make it harder for them. Back up back down here to this corner and make them uh, play a different position oh, but they don't no. and then the tendency is to move up to the choke point and just start exchanging fire and I know it's a hard concept for some people but uh, like they have no chance uh, he's hauled down in a perfect spot and they're like in the open they have no chance where they are so uh, they play it into the STB one's strength uh, and it's just uh, very foolish and it's because they they refuse to uh, respect the STB-1. They moved up, and they're paying for it. Sometimes it doesn't pay to move up. Like this, that guy's Iron Arnie's not hauled down. They just moved up into a very poor position uh, versus the tanks they're fighting. Snap! Oh, snap! Crackle! Kung Fu! Ho ya! Ho yes! Ho yeah! ass for you! This is crazy. Look at this guy. Mouse has no chance. They needed to stay right here. They need, needed to... You see where this SDB one is right now? That's as far as they needed to move up. But they did not. See, now that guy's holding. And he still gets home. This thing is just a beast. 
Just a beast, guys. Look at this. Just a beast. This poor tier 8 has no chance. What is he doing? He's got his gun wavering up in the air. What is he doing? Just trying to back up. He's looking around. He's confused. He doesn't want to shoot back. He has no idea. Oh, so an invisible tank. Just a Buras bounced on him. There's a, an invisible Buras right there in those bushes. Hi, hi, hi. Now they actually captured the base they're supposed to capture, and now look at this. The blind shot might have hit. This Buras takes one. The DPM is is just ridiculous, isn't it? This is a, this is a good game. This guy's having an amazing game. The Burask is not gonna out reload him. Burask fired his two shots. Oh, uh, Buras, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, your, your reload is so long. Snap it. Snap it. Oh. There's nothing much more to say. Now, should you go down the heavy line? Or should you go down the medium line? Which one is more powerful? Speed. High pen. Premium round. DPM. Look at that, 10,891 damage. Insane. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel. Help the channel keep growing. I'll catch you guys on the next one.